Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, so today's topic is how to host a web API on IIS server or a local host. So you know, hosting a, a website or web API is almost similar. You just need to publish it first and then you can host on your servers. Every time you make a web API or a website, it is really not necessary to host on your, uh, you know, um, taken server or your hosting space you know it is uh cost it is very costly and uh, if you are a student or you are working as a practice then you don't have a online server so uh for testing or you know to taking get or post method of your web api you need to host this on your ias server so let's get started in the last video uh, i uploaded that how you can publish your asp.net website or an asp.net web api so you can check that out it is a second part in which we will upload that published folder so here here i have my published folder okay in the last video i published this and check that out now i will just upload this on my is server okay so i have my is server here but in case if you don't have is server then you have to install is server first so for that just go to the control panel of our windows just go to control panel go to the programs programs and features and then turn on features okay here you can see different options where you have to select all the options related to uh, the .NET. Okay, so .NET uh, all the webs WCF service ASP.NET. Okay, you have to select check that out. In my case, it is already checked, and just check the IS services. Okay, Internet Information Services. All you need to do is check the check these two options it will automatically install all your required is services okay in my case it is already installed so there is no need to install that again so we'll, we'll directly go to the is server okay here you can see uh, these options uh, first i have to make an application pool if you explore this you will see an option called application pools under which you need to select an application pool here you name your uh, you know your application pool in my case i will name it shop pool okay it is really fine dot net cla version okay already exist is saying already exist so i will name it shop pooling okay now go to the basic setting of this to select here and go to the basic setting hold on now basic setting go to the advanced setting here just move to the identity and click on local system and then ok you are set now go to the sites here you have to create your site ok so just go to and add so my site name was shop pooling select you just need to select your application pool which i made earlier is shop pooling ok the physical path of your published api okay just go to the desktop and i have this new publish in my case now go to the ip address here you can see the ip addresses which i'm getting is 172.20 this is the ip address now how you will find your ip address so for that just go to the cmd right here ip config here you can see your ip so in 
my case it is the same ip as i was getting in that drop down of is server so it these both are the same okay i'll run in on the 80 port so it is fine just click on okay now browse this it will take some time okay now my api path is api user slash get user will take few seconds hold on just run this again okay the connection was slow that's why it is showing error now you can see all the data in this okay now you are accessing your web api on a ip which is your local ip so you can always or you know access your api with is server okay i hope you learned something from this video thank you so much for watching see you in my next video till then bye